takes a lover to infect a hospital. And that's what happened in this case, where a man in Ohio infected the Ohio hospital because he introduced a spyware to track his, I believe, ex, his ex-girlfriend. Ex and before too long, he was receiving screenshots of whatever that lady saw on her PC, which included x-rays of patients, insurance details of that patient, anything and everything to do with healthcare was being sent as a screenshot back to that person. That's how simple it was to circumvent the security that hospital had. The system that protected the hospital should have prevented that from happening in the first place. A system that protects our healthcare, information about our healthcare, our life, our lives, literally our lives, should not be as easily manipulated as it was in this case. A simple spyware sent to a employee of the hospital should not bring down the hospital. And that's what happened to a level in this case. Having a default deny system rather than a default allow system like today's current antivirus products work on will continue to allow these type of cases happening. We need to stop that, stop that with a default deny solution. We need to stop from people intentionally or unintentionally putting us and our lives at risk. Time to start protecting ourselves using default deny. You've just heard the thoughts of Meli Abdulhayolu. If Meli has provoked you on issues like security and trust on the internet, authentication, and malware prevention, please visit www.meli.com for more. <laughs>